This is a short video about the Traxxas Latrax Teton and what I've learned so far after a couple of weeks of ownership. I bought it for my eight-year-old daughter here. Hey, kiddo. And what we've learned so far is the axles that come with this from the factory are as about as strong as toothpicks, in my opinion. They're black plastic, and you're probably going to break them. So we have upgraded to the blue aluminum axles on all four. They are factory Traxxas parts, and since that upgrade, we have had zero problems. We broke one on the first battery pack, the uh, factory plastic ones. So we upgraded, no issues since the upgrade. We have not broken the shocks or the A-arms. On the third battery pack, we stripped out the plastic teeth on the servo. I took it apart and the teeth were all over the place on the inside. I called Traxxas, told them what happened. They ended up sending me a free replacement 2065 servo. Free of charge took about one week in the mail. I installed a new servo and the clicking sound is gone. If you hear a clicking sound from your front end when you turn the wheels, that's probably your servo. This is what it should sound like. That's a normal functioning servo. Do be aware that the wire on the replacement is much, much longer than the wire that comes on the factory one. So it doesn't fit under the case. That's why it's kind of draped around for now. I'll put a zip tie on that soon. I did find a 2065X servo, which I have in the car, because this one is going to strip out again, I'm sure, after enough driving. The 2065X is the Metal Gear Traxxas servo, which is $40. There's an aftermarket one made by EcoPower called the EcoPower 640T. That does not fit. It's too big and it stretches out the little feet on this black plastic holder that holds the servo. It's just too wide and the feet don't line up where it attaches to the body. So be aware that will not work. There's also a high-tech servo, part number HS. 5055 MG that will work. You need to modify their included servo horn because this screw is bigger and needs you need to drill out the hole a little bit on the high tech servo if you do go with that one. Again, part number HS5055 MG stands for Metal Gear. Please be aware the torque on that one is less than the steering servo on the Traxxas one so you're not going to have as much steering power but if you're in a pinch and that's all you can get your hands on it will work and they're only about 17 to 18 dollars the Traxxas factory blue one is 32 dollars the Metal Gear upgrade from Traxxas is 40 the axles are for, uh, 40 dollars in total 20 for the rear 20 for the front same part number so those are the issues that we've had so far. Nothing else is broken. We're using the factory charger, the factory battery, everything else is factory. I do run this in training mode. It's fast enough for the backyard that we have. RPM makes A-arms, front and rear, same part number. So these are factory arms, but if or when they break, I'll upgrade to the RPMs and if or when the shocks break, I'll upgrade to the GTR shocks. GTR shocks from Traxxas are $65, and the RPM A-arms are 10 for the front, 10 for the rear. So it'd be about $85 in upgrades, but that would make it stronger, definitely. It's a super fun truck. In training mode, the battery lasts a good 25 or 30 minutes from our experience. My daughter loves to drive it. Don't you, kiddo? Yes, I do. And uh, she's getting really good with it. 
I was driving Traxxas vehicles around 20 years ago, and now I'm watching my little girl drive them around, so that's really awesome. Hope this video helps somebody. Any questions, send me a comment. I'll make another video when I do more upgrades.